All right, the first alert continues with the heat and it will continue throughout the day and tomorrow night with thunderstorm opportunities, some of which could be on the strong to severe side. Look at Anthony, New Mexico, 108. That has been the high temperature so far. 105 out at the El Paso Airport. The hottest we've been came June 5th when we hit 107 degrees and we're going to be pretty close to that for today. Check out the Doppler radar. We got some showers out here. These are not a big deal. Heading into Culberson County is staying just to the east of you folks in Dell City where it's light rain here. In fact, some of this may not be hitting the ground, but here's where we have some thunderstorms, but they are weakening. We can still have some lightning, so officially a thunderstorm. We're tracking smoke from the fires. Now we have more of a west northwesterly wind, so north of Silver City up there in the Gila, that's where we're seeing some of the fires and that smoke is making its way in from those fires. So we are looking at some moderate smoke where you see the light shading of gray here. That is just some light smoke across the area. If you look at our smoke tracker and you'll notice here by nine o'clock tonight, some of that smoke continues. Donietta County, Otero County, even right around the Silver City area tomorrow morning at six o'clock. Now what happens tomorrow morning at six o'clock? Yeah, we still could see some smoke. A cold front going to be pushing in from the east and the northeast. We call that a backdoor cold front. That'll be pushing through here in the morning hours, likely about 6, 7 o'clock in the morning. But notice how we have some of these smokes, some of the light smoke in the area, even by 5 o'clock tomorrow evening. And then notice by 7 o'clock Wednesday morning, the smoke starts to shift a little bit farther off towards the west of us, right around the Columbus area, Deming, also right around Silver City. Here's the cold front we've been talking about since last week. Winds will pick up for you folks on the west side of town beginning tomorrow morning. We'll bring in some cooler temperatures. We're going to be hovering just shy, I think, of 100 degrees. Chance of storms tomorrow. We're going to be in that slight category, but the farther east you go, the better chance for some stronger storms. So portions of Hudspeth County, Culberson County, you'll be in that marginal risk where you see the yellows. That's where we could have some pretty good thunderstorms, maybe some supercells and maybe some tornadic activity up in that general direction. But certainly we'll have an opportunity for some storms. All right, here's a look at our latest future track computer model. 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. Front will be driving through here. The moisture will push in here too, give us some fuel for some thunderstorms. 5 o'clock, we could be tracking some of these storms. Notice how they make their way at 7 o'clock through El Paso County. We could be talking about maybe some stronger to severe storms, a little bit just to the east of us, Hudspeth County. Culberson County will settle things down tomorrow night and then have another opportunity maybe for a few thunderstorms once we head into Wednesday and Wednesday night. Maybe by Thursday we'll start to see those storms diminish. Closer look at our counties to the east and you can see how those storms, some of these could be on the severe side. Notice how we have some pinks and some purples out there. And again, these storms will continue to drive down towards the uh, south of town. But we'll talk about your seven day forecast, just how cool temperatures will get. That's all coming up a little bit later. We'll take a break. Get more news after this.